Good evening and welcome to Hooligans Live and uh, this is very much thank you to the Live Music Support Scheme um, supported by the Department of Arts, Culture, Sports, Tourism, Gaeltoc, the whole lot and Minister Martin. Thank you very much for this wonderful initiative. If you've been following us for the past year you'll know that we've had artists sending us in their music but now with lockdown restrictions easing we're able to have bands playing live here in the pub and recorded to be put out to you. Yeah so um, tonight we're delighted to have uh, Mr Neil Toner uh, joining and us and his band joining us from all over the southeast and I think Neil you've got a couple of guests with us tonight. Uh, indeed we have. We have uh, Andrea Booth, who's uh, she's a singer-songwriter who hails originally from Plymouth in the US, but she's lived in Dublin for, for years. And uh, I met her recently, and we've been writing songs together, and uh, we currently have a single which is zipping up the charts worldwide. Lovely. Okay, what's that single well, called? It's called, <laughs> it's called You're Never Too Old for Love. Okay. And um, will you be able to squeeze that into tonight's show, you will? We will try and squeeze it in tonight, yeah. <laughs> okay, and so what, what are you going to play for us tonight? What kind of music? What genre? What are we doing? Well, I guess we're, we're basically anybody. an acoustic band uh, with our roots based in bluegrass and old-time country music. Um, but most of our, all of our songs are originals, but okay. written in that style. Okay, would you have had um, a particular person of influence in your life? Me personally, a man called Bill Monroe. Yeah, the Lovely. late Bill Monroe was a big influence on me. Yeah, um, lots of others, but he was a principal one. Something that you've taken from and written in your style. Yeah. I'd or? also be a big admirer of, of you know, everybody. Towns Van Zandt, Bob Dylan, the lot. You know, there's a lot of great, yeah. great songwriters out there. Fabulous. Yeah. And what about the rest of your band? Who else do you have here tonight with you? On the band, we, in the band we've got uh, the great Johnny Gleason. He's from uh, Carlo and he plays the dobro guitar, which is a rather unusual instrument, but makes a beautiful sound. He plays other guitars as well, but he's a multi-instrumentalist. Uh, Johnny from Carlo. Uh, Richard Ladney, who's on the string bass with me, he uh, hails from St Mullins, also County Carlo. Uh, Dick and I have been playing music together for over 20 years. And we have the wonderful from Waterford, uh, Jerry Madden on the mandolin. And uh, so basically a, a, a good... A great variety of... A great variety of musicians and, and... Yeah, yeah. Okay. And your own uh, input into the music, your own writing. Um, where do you get this, these ideas from? Is it true life or is it something you have influences from other people or...? I, it's a combination. I think I said, uh, I was going to say tonight about one of the songs we have written, uh, one I wrote with uh, Dick Ladney, about a railway that used to run from his home place in St Mullins up through Bagnallstown and uh, mm. onwards. And uh, Dick told me the story one night and I thought it was just a great story, so we wrote a song around that. And yeah. we'll also be performing that. But it, from anywhere, to be honest with you, sometimes snatches of conversation or something you see on a newspaper... It's amazing yeah. what influences anybody, isn't yeah, it? It's just great yeah. to pick into it and see what makes the mind tick and what makes you, yeah, what makes you want to do something like this. You're at this a while. I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a long while, yes. A little while. Yeah. When, when did you first pick up a guitar? Oh, gosh. Uh, my dad bought me a guitar for my 11th birthday, birthday which yeah. was... Back in a different century. <laughs> so I was going to say, it's not, it's not three weeks ago. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I recently celebrated my 77th birthday, so um, I'm getting on a bit, yeah. Yeah, well done. Well done, you. But hanging in. Yeah. <laughs> well, without further ado, thank you very much for joining us, and uh, I'm look, really looking forward to hearing your set. It's a great pleasure, and we look forward to playing for you guys. Yeah. I can't wait for this one. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Thank, Thank you very much. Cheers, Neil, Neil Toner, live at Hoolands. Thank you very much. <laughs>
stumble on his path down some long highway. He'll charm you with the tune one night. He'll be gone by day. Said he'll be gone by day. You could follow in his footsteps if you were so inclined. There's a thousand miles on his shoes, a thousand on his mind. Said a thousand on his mind. As we're playing to a <laughs> an almost an almost empty house here at Holland's. I said that a few times. Still part of the uh, what do they call it? <laughs> no, the voice is a little ropey, but we'll uh, carry on as best we can. This is a song I wrote while traveling through the mountains of North Carolina a couple of years back. Was that an important piece of information? And... What? No? Okay. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, <clears throat> my parents who had uh, passed away many years previously, um, and I was wondering about the whole idea of coming to the towards the end of life, maybe, and wondering how you'd like to be remembered by... Uh, you know, by your peers and by your family and so on. That's where the idea came from. And uh, we released this one on the Onwards and Upwards album in the States, and it went extremely well in that part of the world. And uh, anybody who's any experience with um, uh, dementia or Alzheimer's would get the... It's not a depressing song, but it kind of deals with that subject. It's called Remember Me. I lose control Sometimes I get confused My body tends to fail me And I know there is no cure I'm screaming in my silence To make you hear what I say Remember me just how I was Not how I am today Inside, I still feel like a young man in my prime With a strong and healthy body and a keen inquiring mind but On the outside I look so different, sad eyes and skin so pale Remember me just how I was, not how I am today Ones come to visit, but I wish they'd stay away and remember me just how I was, not how I am today. I was happy when we fell in love and when said I do I was so proud when our babies came 
And you were so proud to And if I could speak these simple words Here's what I'd want to say Remember me just how I was Not how I am today The sands of time run out so fast The years just disappear while you're able to the ones that you hold dear make every moment count of every single precious day and remember me just how I was not how I am today my loved ones come to visit but I wish they'd stay away and remember just how I was, not how I am today. Uh, I was talking earlier on about uh, writing the songs and a couple of years ago, uh, Johnny came to me. This is Johnny Gleason, by the way, here on the Dobro guitar. He's from uh, Carlow Town. And uh, a neighbor of Johnny's back in the, I guess, the late 1700s, early 1800s, called, uh, called Miles Kyo, um, came from a farm there in Lachlan Bridge in County Carlow. And uh, he met an unfortunate end because he traveled to America, eventually ended up fighting with um, the 7th Cavalry. And he died at Custer's Last Stand. And I uh, thought it was a great idea for a song. So we put this one together. And it tells the story. A slight part of the story of Miles Walter Kill. In the town of Lachlan Bridge, where the gentle barrel flows, to a family there was born a son, Miles Walter Kill, who at the age of 21 sailed for America, where he joined the Union Army, for to fight the boys in grey. When the Civil War was ended, Miles joined the cavalry, and he rode with General Custer. Horse called Comanche Sent to quell the Indian tribes Sioux and Cheyenne They rode into their destiny Almost 400 men Miles rode with General Custer And the 7th Cavalry Into a deadly ambush By that little bighorn stream Outflanked and outnumbered by those fearsome Indian bands They fought and died for the white man's greed At Custer's final stand Sole survivor of the day And scattered all around him The dead and dying lay So if you chance to pass there You might offer up a prayer For the things that brought them to that place And for all the fallen there Miles rode with General Custer And the Seventh Cavalry into a deadly ambush by that little bighorn stream And flanked and outnumbered by those fearsome Indian bands They fought and died for the white man's greed At the 
sister's final stand They fought and died for the white man's greed At Custer's final stand Thank you very much, folks. Uh, that's what happened to... Uh, when we were kids, we used to call him Custard. So nobody wanted to fight on General Custard's side. Uh, mentioned Johnny here uh, on the... Coming from County Carlo, he plays a thing called the Dobro guitar. Sometimes needs a little explanation, but uh, maybe not tonight. I don't know. It's, uh, it, some people say it's like a... Um, it's... Its true name is a resonator guitar because it's got a steel plate in it, as you can see. Like me, and uh, but he plays it, he plays it with a slide. So we'd like to feature a tune here from uh, Johnny Gleason on the Dobro guitar, a little instrumental piece. Yeah, awesome. Oh, your choice, Johnny. Yeah, we might do uh, an old Irish here. That's okay. Uh, a little thing called uh, Minstrel Boy. Because myself and Jared might help me out on this one. stuff there from uh, Johnny Gleason on the Dobro and Jerry Madden over here on my right on your left as you view the salubrious stage here in Holland's fine establishment in Enniscorthy, County Wexford. Um, back here on the string bass is a pal of mine for a long number of years now and uh, he hails from a little place called St Mullins not too far from where we are this evening down on the wonderful River Barrow and uh, his name is Dick Gladney, he plays the string bass and uh, keeps the whole thing together. And Dick and I have been uh, a team for a long time and uh, at one stage, uh, one of our band left for fame and fortune and went off to travel the world with the Chieftains. And uh, while he was away, Dick and I decided that we should write a couple of hit records. And we did. Well, this, 
This is one of them, yeah. <laughs> kind of hit and miss records, maybe. Yeah. Well, the whole thing about songs, I guess, is that uh, when you're writing them, the most important part of writing a song is an idea. And uh, Dick had this wonderful tale from when he was a young man in St. Mullins. He used to hear the, uh, the steam train which ran on that line uh, leaving, leaving St. Mullins at night, 10.15 at night while he was sleeping in his little cot. And uh, the train was travelling on to <laughs> exotic places like Baglands Town and uh, further afield at Thigh. I loved the story, the idea behind it. And so Dick and I came up with this one. <clears throat> it's called Railroad Dreams. When I was young, barely in my teens, each night I heard the lonesome whistle scream. That old steam train seemed to whisper my name to go riding on the tent. time I saw her, thought she was a queen, was the sweetest lady I had ever seen. Right from the start, she stole away my heart, took me riding on the 1015. Dreaming my railroad dream. Oh, the rattle of the steel rail and the blowing of the steam takes me back to my youth, barely in my teens. When a boy could lose himself, Railroad dreams and go riding on the 1015. Dreaming my railroad dream. She was a queen She was the sweetest lady I had ever seen Right from the start She stole away my heart Took me riding on the 1015 Dreaming my railroad dream Oh, the rattle of the steel rail And the blowing of the steam Takes me back to my youth Barely in my teens When a boy could lose himself in his railroad dreams Go riding on the 1015 Dreaming my railroad dream Shed a tear by that rusted machine. Thought of all the places she and I might have been. I'd give my heart and soul to be loading the coal and riding on the 1015. Dreaming my railroad dreams. All the rattle of the steel rail and the blowing of the steam it takes me back to my youth, barely in my teens. When a boy could lose himself. In his railroad dreams Go riding on the 1015 Dreaming my railroad dreams Thank you very much indeed. I promised you a special guest earlier on, and uh, uh, this is such a guest. Her name is Andrea Booth. She's a singer-songwriter from, uh, well, originally from Plymouth in England, but she lives in Dublin. And uh, we've been writing some songs together, and uh, she's our special guest this evening on uh, ukulele, ukulele and vocals. 
And uh, this is a song we wrote together, and it's our current single, which is flying up the charts in every part of the world. Uh, <laughs> Jerry says it's going a tank in Sri Lanka. Well, anywhere. It's called... Uh, also, the truth of this is disputed by one of our promoters here this evening, but that's okay. We'll leave that with him. It's called You're Never <clears throat> Too Old for Love. We may be too old for football, too soft for that push and shove. Way too old for the sporting life, too young for heaven above. Much too old for so many things Life is short enough Too, too old for starting over, over But never, never too old For love Some say we're too old for dancing My trip in those blue suede shoes Way too crocked for rock and roll Too stiff for those jiving moves We ain't too old for swanning around Like two young, young turtles up Wasted on the young And it's only when you get older The truth begins to dawn Life is no dress rehearsal Our time is short enough But love means everything And we're never too old For love We're far too old for fighting Scared of those boxing gloves Much too old for punch -up. Too old for acting tough We say too old for so many things We've been dreaming of Far too old to give a damn But never too old for love Too young at heart romantics Who just can't love enough Way too old to waste precious time But never too old for love It's often said that youth is wasted on the young And it's only when you get older the truth begins to dawn Life is no dress rehearsal, our time is short enough But love means everything and we're never too old Life is no dress rehearsal, our time is short enough, but love means everything and we're never too old for love. We're never too old for love. Thank you very much indeed, folks. Um, this next one's a little more serious. This is one of Andrea's songs, heartbreak songs. Um, it's got slight, I, I think I said earlier on, I thought I had a slight input in this song and it was my Stanley Brothers sadness vibe coming through on the melody. But it's a wonderful song called Someone Else's Paradise. Called into our old place just the other day. Another couple lived there. I watched their children play. They say you must keep moving on. Be brave and don't think twice. Now it's someone else's paradise. I'm looking at the beauty of the home that we once shared The place that gave us shelter when you really cared Remembering all the good times, now it's hard to realize That it's 
someone else's paradise Someone else's paradise Someone else's dream Someone else's heaven I'm on the outside looking in Turn around, please listen to my sincere advice Don't be the one to pay for someone else's paradise Paradise. Uh, this one's a little more lighthearted, even though it's about people breaking up and uh, relationships. <laughs> uh, um, I wrote this one with a fellow called Barry Tashin in Nashville. And uh, I went there with the express purpose of writing songs. And uh, we had this idea that we would write the world's shortest country song. And uh, so it started off as the world's shortest country song, which was to make a long story short, she's gone. Because <laughs> that basically says it all. But we fooled around with it and it got a bit expanded and uh, it ended up with maybe more words than it should have had in the first place. But anyway, a kind of a long missive about what happens. Uh, late at night in a bar, something like this one. And uh, this guy's looking for attention. And it's called Long Story Short. Uh, for the guys in the band, it's one in G, and I play a little intro. Okay. G, okay. Oh. Although it's almost midnight, let me buy you one more round. At a time like this, I needed a friend. Scrape me off the ground. Now you ask me why I'm here alone. Looking mighty pale, let me do you a favor, pal. Spare you the details. Don't want to waste your precious time tonight. Hearing me confess, cause you've got better things to do. Probably could care less. When the sun came up this morning, I found myself alone. To make a long story short, she's gone. Like a storm gone out to sea, she's gone. She's gone. Like my other used to be, she's gone. She's gone, and it's still a mystery. To make a long story short, she's gone. Johnny, you play one.
could bore you with the details of lies and deceit. I could make you weep in sympathy for what you did to me. She told me that she loved me, at least that's what she said. But it would curl your toes if the truth were told of all the tears we shed. If I tell you all the finer points, heartache and deception, I know you'll beg for mercy at my story of rejection. Someday I'll wake up knowing I'm better off alone. To make a long story short, she's gone. She's gone. She's gone like a storm gone out to sea. She's gone. She's gone like my other used to be. She's gone. She's gone. And it's still a mystery to make a long story short. She's gone. I said she's gone. She's gone like a storm gone out to sea. She's gone. She's gone like my other used to be. She's gone. She's gone. And it's still a mystery to make a long story short. She's gone. To make a short story long, my baby's gone. Thank you very much indeed she's gone she's gone well sometimes at this point of the night we say uh we well no we've we would usually say what's people having to drink what are you having to drink it's a dangerous thing to say in public or we'd say um any special requests it's an equally dangerous thing to say <laughs> so i've got to quit while i'm ahead <laughs> um i'd say none of those here's a song about a I'd always conjured up the idea of uh, inheriting a million dollars and or a million pounds, a million of anything, I guess. Do you want to stay with for this one? Would you like to stay with us for this one? Or do you want to take a break? No, you go. You go. You're taking a break. Okay. Andrea, Andrea Booth, taking a little break. She'll be back. I was conjuring up the, uh, yeah, the idea of getting a million of anything, I suppose. Uh, in this case, it was a million dollars. And I looked up the title, and uh, it seems that Madonna had a song called Million Dollar Bill, uh, but it's very different from mine. And, but fortunately, our royalties get mixed up, and sometimes people send me large checks for a song of the same title. But anyway, uh, this is called... Uh, it's called uh, Million Dollar Bill. They say you can't take it with you when you go Your possessions must be left behind That includes your dough When Uncle William passed away Left three things in his will Some fine cheroots His cowboy boots And a million dollar bill I was sad at old Bill's passing I was thrilled with his bequest I set off on my mission His proceeds to invest But no matter where I travel Through town hills I just can't seem to find someone to change my million dollar bill they say you can't take it with you when you go your possessions must be left behind that includes your dough when uncle William passed away he left three things in his will some fine cheroots his cowboy boots and a million dollar bill Sure were the finest. I still wear his boots today. I'm a wealthy man in theory, though I still have bills to pay. And wherever Bill is now, I hope he's laughing still at just how hard it is to change his million dollar bill. They say you can't take it with you when you go. Your possessions must be left behind. That includes your dough. When Uncle William passed away, he left three things in his will. Some fine cheroots, his cowboy boots, and a million dollar bill. If I ever 
find a way Turn this large note into cash I'll call all my friends Treat them to a bash And we'll have the last laugh We'll be laughing still At just how hard it is to change A million dollar bill They say you can't take it with you when you go Your possessions must be left behind That includes your dough When Uncle William passed away he Left three things in his will Some fine cheroots His cowboy boots And a million dollar bill So wear the boots and smoke the smoke So give yourself a thrill And find a fool to give you change On a million dollar bill Thank you, thank you, thank you. Indeed. One of the voices quasi semi returned. We'll try a honky tonk song here. Um, one of my great neighbors in the area is a great songwriter called Mick Hanley, who's had many hit records, including that uh, Past the Point of Rescue, which went to the top of the American charts. Uh, but I was, I've written a few songs with Mick over the years, but I was over there with him one day, and uh, he said, well, what did we write about? And uh, both of us being of, uh, how shall I put this delicately? Uh, he won't mind me saying it in public, but uh, ex-drinkers, as it were. But we knew a little bit about drinking, so we said, well, let's try and write a drinking song. Maybe Andrea might like to join us on this one as well. Uh, and we came up with this, and it was just... It's kind of about being in the right place, but at the wrong time, or the wrong place at the right time. It goes like this. I made me a date with an angel. I got my times confused. She took off before I could explain. I'm standing here downtown Feeling like, like a fool Right place, wrong time again So I called her on her mobile Her voice came down the line She says to leave my number and my name Something to ease this aching pain. Right place, wrong time again. Good honky tonk soul. Right, lads. 
uh, one of the old standards. Uh, it's been fun playing mostly original songs for you tonight, but we'll go back to an old Carter family number for the last one uh, here this evening. And uh, this is written by A.P. Carter and the Carter family, and it was a hit for them back in 1927 or so. And it's been recorded, I think, uh, several thousand times over the years by just about everybody. Uh, but for tonight, uh, from myself, Neil Toner, and uh, Andrea Booth here on the vocals, Johnny Gleason on the dobro guitar, back here, uh, Richard Gladney on the upright bass, and Jerry Madden on the mandolin. Uh, would I say thanks Thank for you. being with us? Thank you. I was standing by my window on the cold and cloudy day. Musicians, lads, lads, we're spoiled. We're spoiled. Uh, thank you so much for uh, Neil Toner and Andrea Booth, um, and, and all the lads and that and were playing the with them. And, and thanks again to all the guys on the crew and to uh, the Department of Arts, Culture, Sports, Media, Gaeltacht, and Tourism, and to Minister Catherine Martin. Um, without without these uh, sponsorships and events, we wouldn't be able to do this. So. Um, Leave us till next week and please join us again for our lovely local legends, yep. Eddie and Richard. Eddie and Richard, Eddie Crane and Richard King. And uh, thanks again for joining us and we're looking forward to this night next week. Please see you then. Yeah, see you then. Good night. <laughs>